Happy New Year to you all. Hope you all had a lovely festive period. Um, my name is Ronaldo Beckham. My channel is Lutra FM for anybody that's new today. And I am a big wrestling fan and also a big fan of Football Manager. Um, for my sins, I support Man United, but please don't hold that against me. Um, people who have watched me before, you all will notice I have a new mask, the Great Ray Mysterio mask. I have a lovely backdrop over there that my my partner helped me sort out, my lovely girlfriend, and the LED lights there that she also did for me, because I am absolutely rubbish with anything DIY and useless. So she's in charge of all that, and she does. Um, she's much better than I am. So yeah, um, but here we are in the Newcastle save now. For people who watched last stream, we finished the the last stream. We finished the season, and we end up winning title. Um, I think we lost to Dortmund in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, so it was a, a relative a, a good successful season. Um, I wasn't expecting to win the title in the first season, even though Newcastle have a lot of money and they have a decent squad. Um, but this season will be tougher because it's that second season syndrome that we all have. And um, yeah, so basically, I signed the greatest player of all time, Leo Lionel Messi. Um, somehow managed to sign him. I was completely flabbergasted. Um, we just have a look at the transfer history. I'll quickly show you. We've signed. A, we've signed. We've had a really good transfer window, to be honest. I need to go back to the previous season for Messi. So if we go down here. Um, so we end up signing. Basically, at the end of the season, because we already agreed deals with Pedro Gonzalez and David Martinez and Gonzalo Inacio, but then we went and gone and signed Lionel Messi, the the goat, um, absolutely beautiful man, and we then decided to go, I oh, sorry, decided to go all out and reform the dream team of Barcelona uh, from many years ago, well I wouldn't say many years ago, but I can't remember how long ago, 10 years ago now, um, so I brought in his best mate, Luis Suarez, and then um, who else did I buy? Um, Jordi Alba. So Jordi Alba's come up. Now all of these players, um, I don't know if I go to next season, uh, this season's summer transfer window, we also signed Sergio Busquets to reunite the the glory days. Um, all of them four players, contracts expire in 12 months time. So I'm assuming they're all going to retire around about on the same time, I think. I could be wrong, but it would be nice if they did because it'd be a nice little uh, little reunion tour for uh, last time ever. But we'll see. Obviously, the the more years I have with uh, Lionel Messi and the team, the better. We also signed Victor Asimhen, my long term target. So we've got this beautiful man up front now as well. So this will be probably the starting lineup, depending on injuries. So like our defence is stronger because we've got Botman alongside Inacio, but we've also got decent backup in centre of defence as well with Dan Byrne, Jordi Alba could play there as well, um, Shah, trying to Mancini, um, trying to think. There's probably others there, and I can't I can't think. Um, Livermento will probably play more games this season because Kieran Chippier, Trippier is getting older and then we've got Target as left back but we've also got Jordi Alba there that can play that. I think we signed somebody else as well as left back I can't remember um, ignore Isaac Hayden because I forgot he's come back from loan so he'll be getting sold so I'm going to get rid of him completely forgot he come back not good enough for Newcastle uh, Wilcox probably going as well so we're just going to get rid of him but basically it'll be Bruno Gamares and Joe Linton in the middle like last season but there's also Pedro Gonzalez that will play there as well um, and I think we've got other midfielders as well I bought I just need to double check um, did we sign another central midfielder oh Busquets could play there as well obviously um, mm, 
Lewis Miley's on loan, so we can't have him in there. Might need to get another central midfielder then, because I think we're a bit light in there. Um, and then obviously, up for, like here, we've got Gordon on the right, but it'll probably be it'll probably be Almiron or Carrera there when the first game of the season starts. Joe Linton won't be there. Joe Linton will be here in the middle. Um, Anderson will probably get more game time this season, but we got Gordon, um, Harvey Barnes, and um, who else we got in them positions? Brahim Diaz, Messi, obviously. He'll probably be a first team regular. Ali Coop, who played relatively well last season, surprisingly. Um, let's just get rid of these here and then do that. But it's still quite light, a light squad, to be honest. If we get quite a few injuries, we're kind of screwed. But we haven't got, because I went a bit all out on certain players, we haven't got the money at the moment to sign anybody else. I don't think. I, we might have some transfer budget. No, we haven't. So we, we got 13 million, but we can't spend it because it needs to go into the waste. And that's not even going to touch it. We're, we're about just under 200 grand over the budget. So we are trying to get rid of a few players. Let's just go play it out. So Carrius, we're trying to get rid of. He's had a couple of offers. And that's it really at the moment. We're quite, like I said, we can't really get rid of anyone because it's going to leave us even lighter in and we might not be able to find a decent replacement for them. I mean, these two players here I'm trying to get rid of, but I'm not going to get much money for them. Um, so I'm kind of having to rely on the youth players at the, at the in the academy. But if we just do this and we have a look here, I mean, there's a few rubbish ones here, but if we just do it this way for potential. So we've got Minte. I think I'm going to put, um, I think it's you pronounce it Minte. Um, and promote him to the senior squad. Is Gonzalez in the under 21s? No, he's just playing them. So there's certain players in the first team for some reason that are in, that are in the under 21s. I don't know. Probably to do with friendlies. Um, but this guy here, he can do a decent job as a backup striker, but we don't need strike. We're alright for strikers because we've got Amashan and we've got Isaac, and we can even play Messi or Suarez up there. So. Right for strikers, but yeah, we've got we've got a few young players if need called on. But again, they'll want first team football, so that a lot of these are going to go on loan, which is like I said, it's going to leave us a bit short. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, can't even go for free transfers or loans because I haven't got any wage budget. So let's just progress and see how we get on. But yeah, um, hello to the people in the chat room. Hope you're all having a nice day today. Uh, miserable weather, I know, but. You know, it is expected. Um, he's not good enough, so I wish my youth, head of youth recruitment stopped signing absolute rubbish players. I understand that the reason why they do it is to try and fill gaps in the squad, but surely there's got to be better players out there than the ones they're going for. Right, so we've only got loan offers for Joe Wilcock, so we're going to ignore, we're going to reject them because we need the money and we haven't got. We can't just say, ah, that might be an option. But he's not a central midfielder, is he? I'm going to still sign him anyway. Oh, we can, we can. Well, at least we can sign Deli Ali. Um, who would be a good backup option as a shadow striker. Even though he says he, he wants to be a squad player, but that ain't going to happen. Unless he suddenly becomes amazing. But unfortunately on FM he doesn't... Um, he did all right. He did all right for me and my Barnet save I had, but that's that was League Two. I don't think he's going to be good enough for the Premiership. But like I said, it's a good option to have for now, and an older player who can hopefully mentor the young players and try and rub off on them a bit. But yeah. So the plan is to stream until about four o'clock today. So yeah, feel free to contribute in the chat room if you want to ask me anything. Um, you know, I'll, I'll keep checking every so often. Otherwise, I'll just continue with this. Um, Burnley after Joe Wilcock. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to change the settings on. No, I'm gonna. So basically, I'm gonna eliminate people trying to 
send loan offers because they're just rubbish. They're not worth our time. If the, if the people want him, they're gonna have to buy him. We're not doing a loan to buy situation. I've got a new webcam and it's on the top of my my laptop, so you just have to bear with me every so often when it comes to that. I just need to point that just slightly. There we go. So yeah. Um, eventually, I will get a computer desk, so it will make things a lot easier. At the moment, I'm sat on my sofa with my legs up, which is comfortable, but it's not suitable, not ideal. Uh, uh, let's try and get pre-season done as quickly as possible so we can get the season started. I'm, uh, I'm assuming we'll get the season started in the next half an hour, hopefully, because I am pretty quick, uh, quick at whizzing through this. How many coaches do we need? We need a manager. Yeah, I uh, wonder how, how many on here had a, did anything for New Year's? Did you go out or anything? I went to my friend's house and we had a nice time. Played a few board games. I played beer pong for the first time ever. I had to also had to try and balance a, a dice on my head by also throwing a ball in a cup. I did it once, but it wasn't high enough. Um, but you know. I was just happy to. Um, I was happy that I was able to get the dice on my head. Never mind anything else. Any New Year's resolutions for anybody? Mine is to get better at streaming and lose weight, and you know, lose weight being the usual one for me. Easier said than done at times, but you know, we we've got we can all but try. Yeah, I really like this Rome Mysterio mask, by the way. I was, I was very impressed when I got it. It's very comfortable, and it gives me op my mouth, open, open up mouth. Somebody suggested, basically, when I wore the previous mask, it was kind of muffling my voice a little bit. So I decided to get a new mic, a better mic, and also an open mouth mask. Um, and when I've done a few little audio tests and visual tests and that I've had feedback off people to say that it sounds and uh, looks a lot better because I've got a new webcam as well so I've put the effort in with the background backdrop and all that as well so hopefully it will look better for you lot who are watching like I said I appreciate anybody that um, watches my stream but I also appreciate the people that come back and watch it the next time as well Hopefully you're enjoying my journey with Newcastle. I know it's not the hardest of saves to do, but like I said, while I'm getting used to streaming, and playing the game, and talking at the same time, it's a it's an it's a it's a what it's an easy one for me to start with, and then I can, like I said, the plan is to basically do a uh, journeyman save. Probably I'm probably gonna do two more seasons with Newcastle. And then I'll start my journeyman save. European journeyman. I will start with no no coaching badges, Sunday League rep, and we'll see where it takes us and how it goes really. So I'm excited to start that one, but like I said, I'm in no rush because there's plenty of time to do that. Um, I was planning to start my YouTube series with Everton, but I just haven't got haven't had time to do it start it today because I'm trying to trying to get to grips with video editing, doing the intros and I, I did some intros today but they're they're not very good so I need to go back and start doing them again and then I need to basically record a video of me doing the Everton save. Then I need to go through it, edit it and polish it up and make it look nice before I put it on YouTube because I want the YouTube series to stand out a bit more because obviously with Twitch, it's just literally you're just getting on the computer and you're, and you're streaming. You're not doing too much with that other than maybe the thumbnails, but the thumbnails aren't that important on Twitch because the videos disappear after seven days as well. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, I need to I need to edit this because this is a 
episode seven live stream. Um, let's do that, and then that. Right, that's that done. So let's get back onto it. Uh, okay. So they want me. They want me to send him out on loan again, which he probably could do with the experience. I want him in the first team. I want him and Miley. I think next season what I'm going to do is I'm going to promote him and Miley to the first team. Um, Mavadidi, what are you doing? Uh, oh, we can't do anything with him. Um, yeah, so Minty and Lewis Miley will hopefully be promoted to the first team for maybe next season if they start if they do really well this season and I can recall them in January. Um, promote him into the first team squad I will but it all depends on them because even though you're offering to play him in the first team they'd rather for some reason just go out on loan well this is quite interesting um, former Leeds manager former Red Bull Leipzig manager I think I could be wrong Milestones uh, I've done it again no oh, which one is it Milestones isn't it oh yeah that's it there we go so here we, here we go. So um, yeah, so he was Red Bull new. He was New York Red Bulls manager. Oh, before that he was Montreal manager. Even before that he was USA coach. I don't think that means the head coach, does it? Um, then he was obviously Red Bull Leipzig assistant manager, then manager. Then he went to Leeds United. And now he's my under 21s manager, which is pretty good actually, because he does have a, a decent record of coaching good young players. So, and he's got good overall attributes, staff attributes. Uh, he's fairly determined. Uh, how long we'll have him, I don't know. He'll probably get poached as to be a manager of a club, but we'll make the most of him while we've got him. Hopefully, he can do well with the young players that we've got. We got rid of Joe White, who obviously wasn't very good. Um, I was going to release him, but we managed to get 67 grand for him, so I'm not going to complain with that one. Uh, got another 67 grand from that one. Kevin Mabu, who was pretty good when uh, a few few FMs ago, he was usually the go-to right back for people who wanted to get a bargain right back at a cheap price when he was playing at. Young boys, and then he went on to play for Wolfsburg in real life. Uh, then he went to Fulham, didn't really play much there. His career kind of stalled a little bit, and then now he's gone to Rayo Vallecano, so hopefully he'll do well there. I wish I could adjust this budget yet, but yeah, I think we've just got to wait for a few of these. Well, all of them, other than Deli Ali, we've just got to wait for Deli Ali to come in, I think. And then hopefully we can adjust the wage budget because it'll be pretty stupid if we can't. Set that. Oh no, we just cancelled the Deli Alley deal because the. That's my fault for going too quickly, that is. Have we cancelled it? Oh, we bloody have as well. Uh, he ain't going to come now, is he? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, such an idiot. He'll probably go to Rotherham now. So we'll miss out on Deli Alley. Actually, no, we won't. Because if I go... I, know, I, wouldn't, normally, I wouldn't do this if it comes to a result. But when it comes to signing Deli Ali, I have to make the exception to the rule. Sorry, I only just saved it as well, so you're not missing anything. Right, we haven't cancelled that, have we? No, I've got to remember not to cancel that. I usually don't read uh, staff recommendations. I just I just accept, and it's usually it's for the benefit of the the club, and it probably is benefiting us not to sign Deli Ali because he's probably not worth it but you know like I said we've always liked Deli Ali uh, um, I'm 
planning to try and sign him and me uh, Everton say bring him back to Everton because obviously in real life they released him I think I could be wrong or did his contract just expire I can't remember but yeah He's not good enough, so we'll get rid of him. Would you say he's good enough? Is is up to three stars potential good enough? I, I, for me, it has to be at least three and a half for me to even sign anybody like that. I think anything under the three for me, it's just no point because they're not, they're probably not going to hit three stars ability. And even a three stars ability is that is that good enough for your first team? Hi Dale. Cheers to the comment, buddy. Um, cheers, mate. I appreciate it. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, we all remember Deli Ali at Tottenham being a great player. He had his troubles in 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 life. I remember that interview we did with Gary Neville, and I felt so sorry for him. So ever since then, I kind of just side him and everything. Um, every save I do, if I can help it, and also Deli Ali was pretty good for me in my Barnet save. He was pretty good coming on the bench and scoring a late goal. So. He's got my respect for that alone, so he probably won't play very much. Oh no! Uh. Oh well, at least he's gone to a club, and there's nothing to stop us from signing him if we really wanted to in January if we've got the money. But fair play to him. I hope he does well with Rotherham. But yeah, that's the end of the deli. <laughs> Right, that's the end of the stream of the Rock of Fight. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, yeah. Imagine what we could have been with a team with Deli Ali and uh, Leo Messi. Ugh. Obviously, weren't meant to be, eh? Sorry, Dale. I'm sorry that you're, uh, you're, you're probably just as good as I am now. But yeah, thank you, Dale, for contributing to the chat. I hope you enjoyed the, the stream. Feel free to ask me anything or if you just want to go back and forth and chat while I'm streaming, I don't mind. I can I can multitask, I think, just about. Hello, Joel. Yeah, it's uh, I'm Ray Mysterio. No, I'm not Ray Mysterio. I do not want WWE coming, knocking on my door. I don't want um, their lawyer suing me for copyright. I did double check with someone. I did say, will I get in trouble? For having this, um, basically this mask on, and they said no. They said it, they said it's fine. So until I get a copyright strike, I will just continue. And then if I do get a copyright strike, for example, I will look at getting uh, a different mask. I, what I'm going to do eventually is all the other. I've got about. I've bought a few masks in the last month or so before I started doing this just to see which ones look decent wearing and which ones are comfortable and stuff like that so the ones I won't end up wearing I will be pinning up on my wall behind me that's true he doesn't have a beard yet if he does that if he starts growing his beard out I'm gonna to have to shave my beard off and I that'll be the way of doing it um, I just want to say I've just noticed there's nine people in here and I just want to say thank you for support it really means a lot and thank you to Joel and Dale so far for contributing to the chat I really appreciate it um, but yeah like I said Rey Mysterio one of the best wrestlers of all time who are uh, who are your favorite wrestlers feel free to let me know in the chat I, I can chat about wrestling all day long so uh, I'm WWE and AEW fan I'm not I'm not one or the other so um, I can chat about either of them. I'm a bit behind on the AEW stuff, even though I know the results. Ah, here we go. Brentford have made an offer of 9.5 for Newcastle's Joe Wilcox. Subject condition, the transfer may eventually rise to 12.25. See, this is what we want. We wanted this. So that's good. Let's just check the deal. Well, the deal's a bit rubbish, actually, to be honest. Let's see if we can go for 6 million up front. There we go. That's how we do it. That'll do nicely. We can hopefully shift all that into the wage budget and then in January we'll hopefully get more money. So the next, until January we'll just have to make do what we've got and then if we do have a repeat of last season when we got a um, trans a new transfer budget in January, we end up having about 90 million in January. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> giant haystacks. 
Um, if you like Giant Haystack um, stories, feel free to go on Wrestle Me podcast on YouTube, and they they do, I think they do talk about Giant Haystacks, and they do a very good impression of him, the same as the Cultaholic um, podcast as well. They do a very good impression of of um, Giant Haystacks as well. They do a very good British Bulldog um, impression, even though it's not how the British Bulldog was. They've turned him into a parody of himself, so it's quite humorous. But yeah, check out Wrestle Me podcast and also check out um, Cultaholic, both very good podcasts made by people in the UK who have probably similar sense of humour to me, and that's probably why I like them. Um, Kendo Nagasaki, he's had a he had an interesting career. He, a lot of mystique about him and stuff like that. Um, I don't know much about him, but I've, I've I've over the last twelve months when I've been listening to them podcasts, they've delved in a bit about Kendo Nagasaki. But um, yeah, Kane Kane was always one of my favourites as a kid as well. Um, mostly because at the time when I was a kid red and black were my favourite colours and I just thought Kane looked like an absolute badass um, so I like Kane um, but yeah I tried to find a Kane mask but there wasn't one cheap enough but I will keep looking out for one because I don't want a cheap flimsy one because they'll break easily so I don't mind saving up a bit of money eventually getting another Kane mask I looked at um, like a Bray Wyatt Fiend mask as well um, yeah, I didn't like the, I don't like I didn't like Kane when he took his mask. As soon as Kane took his mask off, for me it was over. Kane should have never had his mask taken off, in my opinion. He should have always been um, masked. More than every bloke. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's still built like a brick, S H I T house. But um, yeah, and he's 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 now the uh, mayor of Tennessee, isn't he? doing all right for himself um but yeah but no thank you to everyone that's uh joined and contribute i think we had 12 people a minute ago that's most i've ever had so it's uh it's always appreciated it gives me that little confidence boost and that makes me feel like i'm that you know because basically what i want to do with this is um hold on before i carry on can i sign him on like no i can't um Basically, what I'm gonna do. What the main reason I want to do this is, like uh, most people, I want to make some new friends, chat away to people about stuff I like, make some content. Because I'd I'd be playing this game on my own anyway, um, offline. Because literally, I spend most of my days playing Football Manager. Um, I have my own eBay shop that gives me a little bit of income, not not massive amount, but you know I survive on what I've got, um, and then basically. It gives me the time to do stuff I want to do, like go to the gym every, most days if I wanted to, and now streaming and stuff like that. So yeah, so you know it's appreciated that people are here and liking what I'm doing, and uh, hopefully you'll like my journey, man. Save when I start doing that because that's a bit more interesting for for most people. Because I'm similar to a lot of people like playing football manager. Don't really like playing big teams because it gets boring very quickly. So yeah. No, nah, it's not my first ever save, Joe. No, no, no. Um, I've, I'm, I'm a long-term football manager player. I've played, I, I played it since the days of the old Championship Manager. Um, I think it was '92, '93 Championship Manager on the, on the Amiga. I was addicted to that game, and I've basically been addicted to this game ever since. Um, one day I will, I'll have, a, I'll let you know how many hours I've spent on each version of Football Manager since I started buying them on on Steam Network um, but it's just a ridiculous amount of hours I put in every year to this game but I do think it's very good value for money because even Football Manager 23 last year that wasn't the best game compared to other previous versions in my opinion didn't I feel like they didn't really do much and a lot of people probably the same but I still got 3,000 hours or something ridiculous like that out of it so I think you can't really complain um, he's a player I wouldn't mind signing Jamal Mis uh, Misiala but yeah, the amount of hours I've put into these games is ridiculous yeah, championship managers one and yeah 
Pro yeah, to be honest, I think we're a bit nostalgic, don't we? Because it's the games we remember when we were kids. And I think as you get older, you kind of just want to relive that, the moments, then the moments where you just had a great time playing the game. I think as you get older, I think you just get a bit. I don't know. I don't know what it, it's hard to explain for me. Um, but yeah, I like Football Manager. I oh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love Championship Manager. I, I love the. I mean, I love Championship Manager Italia, and um, I can't remember. Yeah, Gula is a good one actually. I'll have a look and uh, I'll add him to my shortlist. I won't be able to sign him now, but you know, it's worth adding him to the the shortlist in case he comes up available around Madrid at the moment has he played much for them played nine games last year for the first team which ain't too bad so yeah but I'll keep him on the shortlist for now um, but yeah I remember championship manager Italia yeah Rooney I think he's gone to somebody he's going to somebody in real life and I can't remember who he's go into now um, but I'll add Ro I think I've got Rooney on my shortlist um, Rooney bah. we'll just put Rooney bah. here we go so still playing for Copenhagen um, see he's a right winger you see and I've got quite a few decent I don't even know if he's any better is he better let's have a look at let's compare him with Ali Coop, I think. Ali Coop, is he here? No, Ali Coop, where is he? There we go. So if we compare him with him. Oh, he, he, is, a, he is a bit better than Ali Coop, actually, to be honest. So he would be an upgrade on uh, backup right winger. So yeah, I've added him to the shortlist. We'll definitely. Oh, here we go. We can knock these down. Gives us a bit more money. See, we can't even adjust. This is so annoying that we can't move that here because we'd eliminate all the wage budget then we'd, we'd, we wouldn't be um, minus in our wage budget oh well we'll just keep going um, yeah Joel um, what 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 save are you doing at the moment on football manager Joel who are you currently managing are you managing the mighty Stoke maybe you could bring Messi to Stoke and then we can finally find out if Messi can do it in a cold on a cold day in uh, Stoke 45 million injection from a uh, so-called sponsorship deal um, there but I'm not going to complain I can't Dale because he's gone to Rotherham so even he won't accept because he's only just signed for a new club it just won't happen we'll look to um, bring Deli Ali in January hopefully but yeah I'm sorry you're uh, I'm sorry we, we couldn't bring him in. I've just realised how far my uh, how far up my webcam is. Is that any closer? That'll do. Um, I can't bring it down any closer. I haven't figured that out yet. Your leads. Oh, okay. Bloody hell, 2049. You're dedicated, aren't you? I don't think I've ever done a save that long. I, I do a save, unless I'm doing a challenge or something, or a long-term journeyman save. If I'm doing um, a save like this, with Newcastle, like a big team, I probably wouldn't do more than a couple of years. Um, I tend to get bored. That's the problem. Oh, you play the console version. I, I assume it's a lot quicker to get a season through on the console version. Is it? Is it like FM Touch, where you where it's a like a, a shortened version of FM, basically, where it's not as in depth? Because my, my mate prefers to play FM Touch for the reasons like he doesn't like to spend ages, he just likes to get a season done. So I assume the console version is like FM Touch. Uh, add him to the shortlist just in case. I bet my shortlist is, is going to be massive by the end of this save. Uh, just bear with me, I just need to move, adjust my laptop on the back. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, let's just move that back. Oh, sorry about this. Just trying to get it just right. No. 
There we go. Sorry about that. Right. Are we back on? Are we all right? Are we all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Have you ever thought about getting it on a on a PC? Have you got a PC that you can go on it, Joel? See, I'm quite lucky. I have a very good gaming laptop, but not everyone has the the money to do that. I basically used some of the money that my nan left me to get a new laptop because I had the same laptop for years and it was getting a bit slow. Um, so I was quite lucky. So this is why I'm able to play Football Manager quite quickly as well. I remember the days where I had a, lap uh, a laptop or a computer and, and it took ages. Um, Minty going to Everton on loan. That'll be an interesting one for him. Hopefully he can uh, he can do well there. I'll keep an eye on him. His progress. He's happy we secured him alone. Sorry about that. Um, right. Can I can I can I give Mavadivi a telling off yet? Will it let me? Yeah, it will. Right, young man. Yes, good. At least you haven't argued with me this time. He usually argues with me. We'll add him to the shortlist. We'll add him to the shortlist. That was it. I saw U Usame Usame Dembele. Us no, Us Usmane Di Diomade. Diomade? Diomande? Oh, sorry about this. You'll get used to me butchering players' names. You know who I'm on about there because you can see on the screen. But um, I nearly signed him in the end as well. But I went for... They wanted too much for him. And then I went for his teammate, Ineggio. But I might sign him eventually. I mean, I've got Botman, who's pretty good. If I can get rid of Shah, eventually I will bring him in. Um, even, even if I brought Cotes for a season, I remember him on FM23. I remember him being like 32, 33. And I brought him in for a club. I can't remember it was. And he was just outstanding for me. It was just ridiculous how good he was for me. Uh, former Liverpool player, I remember. Oh my God, are we going for this player? Okay. So the board's going for Antonio Silva. So we're absolutely raiding the Portuguese league this year. We've already bought two players from Sporting. And now we're going for Benfica's best players. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, Diamande is, is really good, to be honest. I signed him... Um, FM23, I can't remember what I signed him for, but he was really good. He's only 20 years old as well, so he's going to get better. Right, so we're actually playing the cha uh, the Community Shield now, sponsored by McDonald's. So hopefully they'll give me a free Big Mac at some point. Um, so here's our lineup: We've got Pope in goal, Livermento on the right uh, right of defence, Mancini and Inaccio in the centre of defence. Um, Target Bruno Gomez and Joe Linton in the middle of midfield. Correa on the right. Pedro Gonzalez makes his debut as well in the, as the shadow striker. Harvey Barnes on the left and Osim Hen makes his debut as well. So it's exciting to have these new players coming in. Reminds me of when I was a kid when we used to watch Man United playing the Charity Shield and you'd always see the new signing start. I remember um, when Carol Poborski and Jordi Cloyf, for instance made their debuts for Man United um, but yeah here we go yeah uh, yeah Lenny Yoroy I think Yo Yo Yoro plays for Lille in France I think he's a good player as well I should hire you as my scout uh, my chief scout Joel I'll uh, I'll hit you oh nice little start to the game the first 30 seconds of the game we score yeah, I'll have to sign you as uh, my chief scout, Joel. When I get some money, I'll let you know. Um, I usually leave my DOF to do transfers, unless it's uh, specific players I go for, like Awesome Hen. Because usually, the, if, you've got a, if you've got a decent um, director of football, head of youth recruitment, chief scout, and things like that, we're going to score again. Oh, nearly. Um, they tend to just go for the same players you'd probably go for, but they tend to do a better job of signing than you would yourself. Now we've got the corner. Header. Oh, don't really trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah. 
I'll tell you what, leave it for now, Joel. <laughs> Not that I don't, I don't mind chatting, but yeah, um, I don't mind chatting about football manager and stuff like with you, but yeah, there's no point hitting me up with players I can't sign at the moment. But yeah, um, Fresender is another good player. Oh, look at that. Career with the second goal. I hope it's uh, pronounced Korea. There you go, Joel. You can be my uh, interpreter. Anytime I get a name wrong, a butcher, uh, a football player's name, you can tell me how to uh, say it properly. Or let me know if I've said it properly, if you don't mind. But nice early start to the game. 2-0 up. How have you not got bored after so many seasons with with uh, with Leeds, um, Joel? How have you not got bored yet? Because you, you've done over thirty years now, haven't you? No, twenty years. Sorry. I just thought people watching this on YouTube afterwards are going to have no idea what this conversation's about, are they? Oh well, I'll have to try and figure out how to put um, the the chat on my OBS studio so people on YouTube can figure out what the hell we're on a path. Um, Bruno Gomez, anybody who's watching this on YouTube, um, just just you have to bear with us next time I do this I'll try and get the chat on the screen so you can see what's going on oh okay so basically you're, you're, the, reason, the whole reason for you to do the save is to become the the, 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 the best team ever in English football basically which is, which is a good goal to have because Leeds I think they've only won a couple of league titles so you, you've got a hell of a, a way to go to catch up with Man United and, and Liverpool, so yeah, it's a good one to have. Um, how far are, have you managed to win? Um, have you managed to basically beat Liverpool and Man United's record yet? Um, just in case for people watching on YouTube, jo Joel's just asked me if I've just asked Joel, who's commented on my my um, Twitch chat. He's currently managing Leeds United, and he's in the uh, year 2049. And I basically asked him how has he been able to stay excited about the save um, after all them years. And he's just pointed out that um, that he's basically wants to beat Liverpool and Man United for the the most titles in England. So he's currently won the Premiership 26 times, oh, 25 times, sorry. Um, so yeah, so he's done very well, so fair play to you, Joel. I haven't got the patience to try and do something like that's too long. Um, I've always wanted to do the San Marino challenge, but it's just too long. I did it once and it, it was just it was just a slog. I just couldn't do it. It's the same with the ultimate manager challenge that people can do on the the board. I, I don't do it every year, I try to do it every other season, but it's uh, it's just so long. Um, I just get really bored. I like the initial start of it where you start with the team with no reputation and no badges and then you've got to try and work your way up the football manager lab. That's what I like about it. So that's why I tend to do journeyman saves now because I like the... Oh, I like um, how that starts. Right, so we have the corner now. We're currently winning 3-1. We've, uh, we've had goals, two goals from... Carrier, and then one goal from Bruno Gamares. So hopefully, not that we're that bothered about the. Oh, I call it a charity shield, but other people younger than me would call it something else. But um, it'll always be the charity shield in my eyes. Messi's coming on for his debut. Um, who else can we uh, put on? We'll put Isaac on. Um, we'll put. Um, Take Joe Linton off, and we'll put uh, Busquets on. So Busquets is Busquets and Messi are coming on to make the debut. Oh, I 
I think the reason why I had 12 people in the chat because they probably actually thought I was Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, people, if you actually got confused and thought this was Rey Mysterio live streaming. Um, I can only apologise. I need to put in the title, not Rey Mysterio, or not the actual Rey Mysterio. It, I can understand why it would confuse people. But the people who have stayed and watching, thank you, I appreciate it. Crystal Palace seems to be all over us now. But luckily we've only got a few minutes left, so hopefully we can see out the game. You never know, we might get um, a messy, a late messy goal, just to uh, send the crowd happy. The GOAT of all time, see what he can do. Will we lose the ball? Will this be Crystal Palace's... Oh, no, we get it back. Okay, we that was a weird shot. But Isaac scores. Harvey Barnes with the initial shot hit the post. Comes back to Isaac. Good result. Nice a bit of silverware. We know it doesn't really mean anything in this day and age. I think people were more bothered about the Charity Shield in the 90s. They're not really that bothered uh, now. I think it's just a glorified friendly really. But it's a good start to the season. We'll just uh, watch this great little celebration. Is Messi gonna, you know, Messi's already got a trophy in his first game. Ooh, hey. There we go, right, that's that then. Oh, still celebrating. So, uh, yep, lovely 4-1 win over Crystal Palace in the Charity Shield. Hopefully, in a way, we can tick off all the trophies. Hopefully we can win one of the uh, domestic cups this year. But I tend to just play the reserves or the young players in the Caribou Cup and uh, some of the FA Cup early games as well. So if we get knocked out of them early, then it's you know it's no. My main priorities is the Premiership and Champions League every season. The rest is a bonus. But yeah, my aim this year is to try and get further in the Champions League as well as obviously winning the Premiership again. We need we need to be winning the Premiership every season. That needs to be the standard that we need to be doing. This keeps annoying me. This keeps coming up. I just want it to disappear because it keeps coming up. Um, Elliot Anderson. Should we get rid of Shah? I think we need to get rid of Shah. If we definitely, I know Shah is like a, a crowd favourite and uh, in real life and probably with the with the fans on here. Um, but if I'm getting Antonio Silver in, then I might as well sell Shah because he's 33 now. He's only going to go down. Um, keep Trippier for now if we can bring in a better right back in the summer we will but yeah let's have a look down here so Elliot Anderson wants to be in the they want us to keep putting An Anderson in the squad do we get rid of Almiron Almiron 30 he was really good last season though I don't particularly want to get rid of him be good, good amount of money that we'd be able to get some decent money for him but if there's any events as a Lazio coming in from, they're not going to offer him that, not offer us that much, you know. So we might as well just keep him for now. Um, I don't know who to. Who do we get rid of to put him in? I don't think there's anybody we can. There's nobody else I'd rather have in there than him at the moment. Um, I don't want to sacrifice anybody because Harvey Barnes is more. He's older and more versatile. Maybe I can send out. But if I send Elliot Anderson out on loan, he did play quite a few games last season, so uh, we'll just leave it for now. Right, we've got a new new goalkeeping coach, so who do we get rid of to? We'll get rid of him. He's not very good. Uh, 
Uh, so they rejected a bid for him. We'll add him as a transfer target and see if that does anything. We're just stockpiling on really good centre backs at the moment, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if I don't get Antonio Silva, I'm probably going to go for Diamando. Reunite the Sporting Lisbon centre back partnership. So we got Norwich in our first game of the season. Um, no, we're not. Oh, well done. Hmm. A payment of 21 million. So they'd offer the. They'd only offer us an optional fee of 9 million. Um, no, it's not good enough. I'd rather keep him. That's the uh, alter. There we go. It's more like it. So let's offer. Let's offer him up to see. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Let's try 12 million. And then, if he plays 40 games, we want two and a half million. Yeah. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Happy days. So that's not too bad. If we get Antonio Silva and we get 15, well, 12.5 million plus 2.5 in appearance fees for uh, Shah, that'd be a pretty good deal, really, when you think about it, because Antonio Silva's a lot younger than Shah. So in the long run, it'd be good for the club. Plus, Antonio Silva's already, his ability's already good that he can get into the first team straight away. So uh, that'd be a good little cent that'd be a good little cent defence, but then I feel like we need to improve on the fullbacks position. Maybe we'll look to do that in January. So uh I might go for that Ivan Fressender that Joe recommended. Fressen. Well, oh, what's his name? I don't know. Let me check the chat two seconds. That's it. Fress Nedder. Oh there we go. Right, Fress Nedder. There we go. He's also at Sport in Lisbon. Bloody hell, I'm missing the boat here. I think I need to start a new save of Sport in Lisbon at some point there, but oh he went there from Real I remember him being at Real um Valladolid. I didn't realise he went to Sport in Lisbon. Um but yeah, he's gonna cost us a fair bit more than we would like to, but he's def he definitely would be probably the natural replacement for Trippier. Um either him or Libramento would. Um, not that they give us the set piece creativity side of it that Trippy does, but you can, you're not going to find many right, uh, fullbacks that are that good at set piece like he was. Yeah. Kyoto. Okay. Good idea. Let's uh, shortlist him. Michael K. Oh, he's already on my shortlist. He's already on there. He's a bit out of my price range at the moment, but um, um, let's see when his contract expires. Maybe I can get him on a free transfer at some point. Now nah, he's tied in for five years. They must have signed him a new contract. Has he got a minimum fee clause? Minimum fee, 51 million. Ain't too bad. Um, so that'll be right back. We need uh, any left back recommendations, Joel? My chief scout Joel from Stoke. Is Joss Tymon any good from Stoke? Is he good enough for? Because uh, he used to be a, a wonder kid, didn't he? At one point, he was highly rated. He's gone to Swansea. Uh, we'll scout him, see what they say. Might not be good enough now. Former Hull City player. I didn't realise that. I thought he was always at Stoke. Bolde or Udoge? I would assume. Which? Wh where does? Where's? What's his first name? Bolde. Um, I know. Destiny Udoge is a pretty good player, but obviously he plays for Spurs. Um, oh, he's already on our shortlist. So he's only he's only like twenty eight. We could probably get him for thirty million. He's only rated at C though. I'll scout him again and see what they say. I'll have a look at Bolde in a second um, when, I, when you when you post about his name.
We'll do some really heavy snow the next couple of weeks, by the way, everyone. So please be careful on the roads. It's absolutely hammering it down today. I was only out, I had to go to the post office about a couple of hours ago. Absolutely hammering it down. Um, but yeah, Baldy Place of Boss. Oh, okay. I think it's, I don't know what his first name is, but it's A, A Baldy or something like that, isn't it? Um, hold on, let's sort that out first. A Baldy. Is it A Baldy, Joel? Uh, oh, there we go. Alessandro Baldy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford him at the moment, but uh, definitely one for uh, looking at at some point. But yeah, he is too expensive. Let's just put this into context. He probably won't even come to us. Um, oh, he is interested. They'd want between 65 and 95 million for him. So, um, yeah, we haven't got the money for that at the moment, I don't think. I mean, we've got money, but some of it needs to go in the wage budget once it lets me. But, yeah, thank you for the suggestion so far, Joe. Uh, Joel, sorry. Um, much appreciated. God, isn't it? We're nearly done an hour already. It's flying by today. Um, Neves, yeah, yeah, Neves is good for Benfica. Is he doing well in real life like he was last season? Um, Joel Neves. Yeah, see, these, see, these are some of the players I should be going for. Really, um, maybe I shouldn't have gone for players like Messi and stuff, but. That's just the, the romantic side of me who uh, nostalgia will always take over me. Um, if Ronaldo was still playing on this, I'd have signed Ronaldo as well. I'd have loved to have Ronaldo and Messi play uh, in the same team for a season. So he's not too bad. 40 to 61 million. Has he got a minimum, minimum release clause? Oh, he's got a minimum fee of uh, 100 million, but we should, we should still be able to get him for like 40 to 60 million. But yeah, uh, cheers to the suggestions, Joel. I'll um, I'll get back on this now. See how I get on. So Charles gone. We've sold him for twelve million. With us getting an extra two and a half million if it goes well when he comes to him playing. Um, the problem with this mask, if you get an itch on your face, it's a bugger to to be able to yeah scratch. But anyway, right. Uh, We'll add him to the shortlist as well. Add Martinez as well, because he's a quality player, but he's very expensive. We won't add him, because he's 99 million, only three stars, no. I understand why Bilbao have got him rated so highly, because they can only sign Basque players as a, uh, and that, so I understand why they highly rate all their players. I need uh, Joel. This, you probably be, uh, enjoying this conversation uh, story, but I nearly moved to um, Stoke last year because um, I wanted to move towards Manchester. I wanted to be close enough to Manchester so I can just get the bus or the train to Manchester, and also stay close to the West Midlands in case I needed to go and see my family or my friends. So I nearly, nearly got um, moved to. Stoke. I was looking at, I was looking at Stoke, but I was also looking near Stoke. So Newcastle, under Lyme. I went there. It was a very nice town. Um, Stoke itself, not so much, but that's not no discredit to Stoke. I, I, but um, yeah. So I nearly moved to Stoke, um, but decided against it in the end. And I'm glad I did in the end because because I, I stayed where I was, and then I messaged um, my now partner on a dating uh, app called match.com and we um, we have been together seven months now so I'm glad that I didn't move um, what a bit of a defender cross here because Pope's slightly injured so um, Sherpen will be making his debut hopefully he'll do well so here's a lineup for the game against Norwich City we've got Sherpen in goal Libramento 
Mancini, Botman and Target in defence. Bruno alongside Joe Linton in the midfield, with Messi's making his full debut. Brahim Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left and Osim Hen up front. So we'll hopefully see the, the GOAT show you how it's done. Lionel Messi. Yeah, no, I couldn't understand. What part of, uh, unless you don't want to tell me, Joe, for obvious reasons, what part of uh, Stoke do you live in? Um, because I heard, I, what I did before I moved to Stoke is I literally asked several people I know, um, well, not several people I know, several people from Stoke on Facebook groups in Stoke where where to try and look to move to Stoke and where to avoid. And it was like, literally, if you've got a chance not to live in Stoke, you don't live there. <laughs> so everybody in Stoke was basically telling me, do not move to Stoke. It's a, it's a, it's a hellhole, as they say. And that's people from Stoke. That's not me saying anything bad about Stoke. That's actual people from Stoke. Um, but I was thinking of my business at the time because I wanted to be closer to Manchester and all the areas around there because I get a lot of my stock from charity shops and there was also a few wholesalers up north as well that I could go to to do hand picks so I was thinking I was trying to think about moving there for my business and because I only had a few at the time I only had a few friends that I saw and I didn't really see much of them at that time as well so I felt like there wasn't really much keeping me where I am um, whereas now I'm quite lucky that I've got obviously I've got my girlfriend but I've also got a decent um, friend circle I've got a few friends in one group three friends in another uh, good goal by the goat. Go on, Messi, get in. Uh, Messi scores in his debut. Full of dust heads and druggies, man. Yeah, I know, I know. I noticed a few of them. But you get that in a, in a various. Where I live, it's not exactly the nicest place in the world. It's all right. I'm quite lucky. I live in. A, I live in a gated apartment building, so I've got that safety um, of of that. But you know, when I go into the town centre where I live, it's um, there's a there's a I would say there's a few there's a few eccentric characters there, and then there's a few people that need definitely need help for one thing or the other. And I'm not going to judge them. Thank God for that. I thought we were going to lose. I uh, thought we were going to concede. Then um, I'm not going to judge them because we all have our issues in life, and some of us are lucky, and some of us end. But yeah. We have quite. Um, we we didn't used to, but we have quite a few more homeless people at the moment which makes me a bit sad because we only used to have one or two because I used to chat to um, the one woman quite a bit and I used to help I used to like buy her the odd pasty and things like that. good goal by Diaz um, but yeah lately we're getting we're getting so many homeless people there it just goes to show I'm not gonna go on a political rant but it just just goes to show that the, the, the country needs we need to be helping people more than judging them at the moment Hello there, um, I'm, I'm going to probably butcher your name. Um, thank you for the first time chat from Decisi or Decisi. I think it's Decisi. Is it Decisi, Decisi? Hello, hello. Um, are you living near town, in the town centre of Hanley? Hanley's alright there, isn't it? I think Hanley was one of the areas I got recommended to move to, but I could be wrong, it might not be. Um, but I think, like I said, I think with all town centres and cities and that, you've got your good areas and your bad areas. Oh my god. See, I've been chatting away and uh, having a nice time chatting to you and uh, just realised it's 2-2. I better demand a bit more. It's only the first game of the season though. As long as we don't lose, I'll be alright with that. Other uh, goalkeepers need to come off. We need to bring Pope on, even if he is slightly injured. Um, we'll take off Botman. Oh, we've got literally four players on a booking as well, which isn't ideal, but burn on. Um, who else? We'll leave that for now. We'll figure it out in a minute. But yeah, thank you to anybody else that's just joined the chat. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm having a nice chat chat with Joel, but feel free to contribute to the chat if you if you're also from Stoke. Feel free to contribute, but if you're not and you just want to chat to me about my save or just about getting to know me or anything like that uh, let me know but yeah awesome hen scores hopefully that's the winner just count the seconds away now come on let's get this game done that's it there we go good start to the season champions of the premiership uh, 
get their first win of the season. Oh, Silva goes to Real Madrid. That's a shame. Um, well, that's good. Mavadivi played well in his last game. Minte played really well. See, I, aut I automatically regret sending him out alone. Um, then again, would, he's a winger, so I don't think he would have got much game time anyway, so it's probably better for him. If he's playing for Everton in the Championship, he's probably bound to win every game. So it'll do him the world of good for his uh, career. Right, let's go for previous... Uh, oh, I've spelt that wrong, haven't I? Sporting, we'll just go with Sporting. We'll search by club quicker this way. Um, there we go. Uh, see what they will... So 40 million, 20 million, we'll get rid of that. We'll knock that down. We'll see what they say about that. Okay. So they want even more now. Um, we get rid of that. Who is that? There we go. So, yeah. Potential value is 52 million. Hopefully we can get that through, through without any issues. Um, yeah. He wants a lot of money, but a lot of wage. Um, hello, Goku Snake seventy seven. Thank you for your initial uh, for your comment. Um, hello, how much transfer funds did you get with Newcastle? So, in my first season, I didn't have much, obviously, because um, I actually can't remember how much money I had in the. Basically, I had, I think it was thirty million or something like that in the transfer budget it might have been a little bit more I'm sorry I'm not very my memory's not the best so I can't remember that far back because it was it was um, quite a few streams ago um, but yeah I think it was like 30 to 50 million and and then um, basically I then got given literally the last couple of days of the January transfer window I got given an extra 90 million and then this season I was given I think it was 120, 130 million or something like that. So yeah, so uh, you do get quite a bit. Yeah, no, it's okay. Don't worry, Goku. You don't need to apologise, mate. You, you, you're new to the stream. You're not going to know. Um, feel free to uh, if you um, if you have a look on my Twitter, uh, my Twitch page. There is a link to my eBay page, or just search on YouTube for the same name as my Twitch name, Lucha FM and you'll see all the previous streams on there if you click on the newcastle playlist um you should be able to watch it from the the first video um obviously over time i've got a little bit better i'm a bit i'm a bit new to this i only started streaming last week so it's not the best quality to start off with but um if you're enjoying this save and you want to watch it from the start there's quite a few videos on my YouTube there are, um, what I basically did is upload the streams from Twitch onto um, onto YouTube so people like yourself who like watching me on here can then go back and watch the videos because even though I've got video on demand on here on Twitch they only store the videos for seven days which is annoying so yeah so just feel free to basically go on YouTube and also give me a little subscribe on there if you don't mind as well it all helps um, same with you Joel as well if you want to go back and watch the previous streams I've done feel free to go on my YouTube play uh, YouTube and give us a little subscribe as well it, it was always appreciated um, but yeah cheers cheers Goku um, I hope you're having a nice day today and um, just to quickly answer Joel's previous question I'll take all the bonuses off and sign I know, yeah, I do. I, I, if if it was, if I was doing a save, if I'm doing a save in Newcastle where they've got un, like loads of money, I, I don't really bother doing that. Even though I do like to save money when I'm playing this game, I try and play it like a businessman type of thing. But like when I'm doing um, a lower league save, obviously I try and save as much money as possible. But with Newcastle, you can get in so much debt, and the chairman will just come along with a sponsorship deal and clear it. So it d doesn't really b bother me about giving you know is if, all I'm bothered about is signing the players any way I can 
but yeah um, but no thank you Joel and Goku um, this is probably the most interaction I've had since I've started doing the stream so I do appreciate it you know feel free to chat as much as you want with me or with each other as well if you want I'll, I'll, I'll chime in as well when I can um, Anderson currently not happy what a surprise um, right I'm going to send Anderson out on loan even though I'm probably going to regret it in the long run because the squad being so small yeah always good to have a chat with you Joel and that so uh, what are you sulking for Goku Oh okay. Oh okay. Did you lose to did you lose to Joel by any chance? Because Joel's managing Leeds. It was he <laughs> was Joel's team Joel's team's managing Joel's managing Leeds and you're managing uh, Spurs who, who we look Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah, I think you I think you and Joel have got beef now. Um But yeah. Where are you from then, Goku? Are you from the UK or are you from where are you from then? Oh, that's crushing. To go down 3-0 and get it back to 3-3 and then lose on penalties, that is that is soul crushing. Oh, West Sussex. Oh, yeah, Chichester, yeah. It's quite nice over there. You're doing, you're doing well in life if you live in Chichester, mate. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. I've never lived there, but it's a relatively nice place. Um, I think Joel would agree with me. Probably, probably nicer than Stoke, isn't it, Joel? I'm going to get all the abuse now from people from Stoke, and I? They're all going to join me chat, just have a go at me going, Hey! What are you talking about? I don't want to sound like I'm from Manchester. Well, you know, we're from Stoke. That was a terrible impression. I apologise. Oh yeah, see, so, yeah, I suppose when you move there, it probably is nice, and then when you live there, you're used to it. You probably see the the bits that everybody else sees. Yeah, that's true. I know what you mean. Um, got Wolves next. <laughs> Everywhere is better than Stoke, and that's coming from somebody from Stoke, everybody. So you can't have a go at me for that one. He is from Stoke. He is telling everybody else it's rubbish in Stoke. The people in Stoke were very nice though when I went there, so I'll give them that um, and stuff like that. And then in the surrounding areas of Stoke that I went into, they had some decent charity shops because that's where I like to go to pick up. Um, stuff I can sell on and make money for um, so the Stoke was a good area for that for me and then obviously like the, what what made me want to move there was because it was only an hour away from Manchester but then basically I didn't I didn't bother going moving there and then as as time went on my, my eBay shops kind of it's not deteriorated but it's not it's not doing very well either so um, my money's limited at the moment so I can't keep what it is you've got to keep listing stock on eBay to basically keep getting consistently good sales and I, I stopped investing money into it because I felt like it wasn't I wasn't getting the, the I wasn't making as much money as I was so I'm not making anywhere near as much money now simply because I'm not listing as much stuff I'll pick up the odd bit, bit um I managed a couple weeks ago and went around a few charity shops near where my partner lives and I managed to get a Palm Angels sweatshirt for five quid from a charity shop and, and these are all legit items, I did get them checked before I bought them. I managed to get a Stone Island sweatshirt for 20 quid and I managed to get a Moncler polo top for five quid and I sold the I sold, I sold the Palm Angel sweatshirt but it got returned for size and issues so these things happen there's nothing I can do about it um, but I've still got that on my eBay shop that will probably eventually sell and I sold the Stone Island sweatshirt I sold that for 100 quid so I made 8 quid profit on that and I sold the Moncler polo top for um, I can't remember now, I think it was like 50, I think I sold it for 50 quid, so I made 45 quid profit on that as well, so um, it's days like that that make it worth worth doing it, because you just you get a buzz off doing it, but um, yeah, like I said, they don't always happen, because the problem is charity shops, they're a lot wiser than they, they used to be, I joined, I started reselling way too late into the, into the game, because by the time I started doing it, within about 12 months, the charity shop started putting their prices up or they started taking all the good stuff and putting it on their own charity shops, which is fair enough because they want to try and make 
as much money possible for the charity which I would understand other than the fact that if you look into it most charity shops the money that they make doesn't necessarily always go all of it goes to the course I'd say I think it's like it depends on what the charity is but it's it's a very small percentage that goes to it most of the money goes to paying the bloody managers and I've always said that um, if you're a manager of a charity shop you shouldn't be you shouldn't be paid if the volunteers aren't getting paid you shouldn't be getting paid um, but yeah anyway right so we've got Pope in goal Libramento, Mancini, Botman and Target in defence Bruno and Jolien in the middle of midfield Messi Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Osimhen up front. Has Osimhen scored for a shit? Yeah, he did score. He scored the last game. Just curious, if anybody joins and then realises I'm not uh, Ray Mysterio, can you let me know, please? <laughs> That's all you wear. Bloody hell, you're doing well living in Stoke, uh, wearing... Um, Stone Island and Moncler, Joel. Do you not do you not get robbed? <laughs> oh, here we go. Wolves on the attack now. Oh, Pope saves us. What do you do for work then, Joel? To be uh, to be spent to be able to buy Stone Island and Moncler. You're doing well, ain't you? Not that you have to tell me. You don't have to tell me if it's personal. I'm, I'm just I'm just curious. Oh, Wolves just hit the post. They're all over us in this game. We need to uh, encourage them, encourage us. Yeah, some sometimes with charity shops, it's hit and miss. There's there's charity shops I'll go into, and there's nothing but high street rubbish and not worth it. And then there's some, there's some charity shops I go to. Um, I'm a little less picky on what I buy now. If I, I never used to bother with stuff like Fat Face and things like that, but now I'm, I'm go, I go for stuff like fat face trespass um bird house and things like that because they do still sell for decentish money you're not going to make the same money as you would for selling like a north face or a stone island um one messy with the goal there the goat scoring again um but yeah umbro yeah that's usually a brand i see um calvin klein even though calvin klein's not been Nobody buys Calvin Klein anymore. We just scored again because I wasn't paying attention. We have actually. Bloody hell. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, us in M scores. Messi assist. That's true, yeah. Ray Mysterious. Or uh, El Mysterio Britannia. I should call myself from now on, shouldn't I? El Mysterio Britannia. Oh, okay, Joel. No worries, mate. Sorry, I hope I didn't offend you when I said that. But yeah, fair play. So you're looking after your partner. I'd probably do the same as well. Um, my my girlfriend, she suffers with diabetes, so there's always the worry that as she gets older, it, it will be more like it'll be harder for her to walk and stuff like that. So um, I fuss over her as it is anyway. I do a reading because I'm when she gets back from work, I fuss over. I cook her tea and stuff like that. She's she's perfectly capable. She's better at cooking than I am anyway. Uh, Wolves got a goal back, Daniel James. But yeah, fair play to you, Joel, looking after your partner. Who was your favourite wrestler back in the day then, Goku? Who's, uh, who's the one that you used to always like the most? See, my favourite wrestlers of all time were Shawn Michaels, CM Punk, The Rock, um, Daniel Bryan and Stone Cold probably. I like The Undertaker as well, I suppose, because obviously the longevity of him. Triple H at times as well, but yeah, I, I would say I would say my favourite ever wrestler was Shawn Michaels because he was the one I grew up as as a kid. He was the one I always liked because he was different. I like I, I appreciated Bret Hart more as an uh, as I got older than when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I thought he was good, but I found him a little bit more a little bit boring compared to Shawn Michaels. But I've got a whole new. Can everyone, can can everybody see me? Can they can they see the stream now? Can you just let me know? We had it. I think we had internet issue there. 
Yeah, cheers. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, lads. Hope, uh, is Joel still there as well? Joel, are you still there? You just have to bear with me. Every, even though I've never had any issues with my internet on here, since I started streaming on Twitch, it just seems to uh, knock my internet off every so often. So, uh, but yeah, cheers for staying with us. Um, yeah, I heard about The Rock coming back. Um, him and Roman Reigns will probably have a match at this year's WrestleMania or, or probably next year's WrestleMania. I still think the plan is um, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes with Cody Rhodes to win, finally win. Oh, we nearly scored an own goal then. Um, but yeah, if The Rock thinks he's available and he can do it, then they're going to push The Rock versus Roman Reigns because that's the biggest match they'll. That's the biggest drawing match they've got in in that they can do really. They can always go back and do Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes down the road. They could do something where like Cody Rhodes wins the title from like Seth Rollins, or for instance, or they could do CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes WrestleMania with CM Punk being the the heel, um, or they could do a triple threat with Cody, CM Punk, and Seth Rollins. So they can still give Cody the title win, but it won't be the big title win versus Roman Reigns. And then they'll probably do Roman Reigns versus The Rock, and the Roman Reigns will probably beat him. Do you think Roman? Nah, Roman and Randy Orton. I think that's. For, I think that'll be for Royal Rumble personally. I'll for Royal Rumble all the pay per view before WrestleMania, Elimination Chamber, or whatever it is, or Backlash. I can't remember now. Um, yeah, top five wrestlers of all time are your, yours, Goku, Austin, HBK, Taker. Old school and uh, old school Kane and the Rock. Yeah, it's a good one. So you definitely want you definitely um, a fan of the uh, Attitude Era. I'll give you that. I'm I'm an old man. I'm I'm uh, I'm forty this year, so I um, I remember it even all the way back from the uh, early eighties and stuff like that. I think the first ever wrestling match I saw was Hulk Hogan versus uh, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant at WrestleMania three. We're uh, this goal better be disallowed because uh, I'll be not happy. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be drawn to wolves, especially if they're literally at the bottom. Come on, let's see out this game. Yes, good little result. We were lucky. Yeah, I think. I think CM Punk will win the Royal Rumble. Um, I think. Yeah, I think it will be definitely CM Punk. I think the WrestleMania. Main event is going to be Roman Reigns versus The Rock now because they, if they weren't going to do The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, they wouldn't have had The Rock hint uh, having a match with Roman Reigns because they wouldn't want to give people false hope. Um, I would personally love to see Roman Reigns versus The Rock and Stone Cold versus CM Punk at WrestleMania, and then maybe do Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins because they have got the history there. Um, so we'll see. But um, there's still plenty of time. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at another four months before WrestleMania. Things can happen. People get injured, or CM Punk could have another. I mean, he's one of my favorite wrestlers, but he could have another hissy fit and, and then get sacked. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I think I think the games will will encourage if you play the wrestling games, it will encourage you to then um, want to get back into watching wrestling. I recommend what you're probably best off doing is um, trying to trying to watch a few of the the last WWE pay per views because they have been pretty good to be honest. There's also another wrestling group called um, AEW, and they've got a lot of they've got quite a few former. WWE wrestlers in it like Chris Jericho um, you would know him as Dean Ambrose but his name's John Moxley in AEW because that's his real name um, they've got Daniel Bryan in there who's Bryan Danielson basically um, they've got Sting and uh, they've got a few other ex-WWE wrestlers I can't think of from back in they've got Edge and Christian in AEW as well yeah, yeah, that's the one that Edge went to, but he can't use the name Edge in AEW because it's a WWE trademark. So he's no, he's called Adam Copeland, which is his real name. So yeah, so you could um, they rec uh, the, the last AEW pay per view was a couple of days ago. It will be on IT. I think it will be on ITV at some point in the next couple of days. I could be wrong, but there's plenty of places like you can go on if you literally just Google watch wrestling, for example. 
um, you'll find a website that you can watch any wrestling on basically but yeah um, but the A Edge and Christian had a match against each other because they're currently in a, a little feud on AEW TV so um, it's worth going back and watching that because they apparently they they stole the show with their match that they had the other day. I've yet to watch. I haven't watched the pay per view yet because I I don't have enough time in the day to watch the wrestling like like I used to watch it because when you get when you get a girlfriend you have to then watch stuff that she likes and she likes watching wrestling even though she hasn't watched it. She's similar to you, um, Goku, that she used to watch it during the Attitude Era and then stop watching it. But she she's quite into it now, and she likes uh, she likes it when John Cena was was back because she likes John Cena. She likes L.A. Knight. She doesn't like the Bloodline. So any time the Bloodline come on, she boos the Bloodline. Um, it's quite sweet to watch her watch it in in it with her eyes and watch it for how she likes it. It's nice to see somebody um, with enthusiasm for it because I just watch it because I'm so used to watching it. I don't get excited as much as I used to. So it's nice for her to cheer and boo and stuff like that. And we're actually going to go and watch WWE um, in April. So she's looking forward to that as well. Um, but you have to make you have to make compromises when you're in a relationship. So um, I tend to try and watch my stuff when she's at work. So I'm trying to watch. I had to catch up on. I know it's a bit sad, but I like watching me soaps. So I had to catch up on the last couple of the days of soaps today and then tomorrow I'm going to be catching up on as much as the AEW stuff as possible and then hopefully in the next couple of days I'll be watching the AEW pay-per-view from the other day
is this not working? Settings? No. Oh, you can hear me now? Oh, okay. Can you hear me now then, yeah? Yeah, but you can hear me now though, yeah? Oh, excellent. Cheers, mate. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, if you didn't hear me, basically I got to see Shawn Michaels a couple of times and then I got to see him for the last time when he... Because he, he, I seen him in November that year and then he retired the next year at WrestleMania against The Undertaker. So I was very lucky. I got to high-five my favourite wrestler of all time. Um, but yeah, just let me know if, if the sound ever goes again. Um, but yeah, cheers for keeping up with me. Um, Joel, I hope you're still here, mate. But I'm sorry if you uh, if you went. <laughs> um, but yeah, you should definitely get back into it. I think you'd enjoy it. It's um, They're very popular at the moment, WWE. They're building up a lot of uh, momentum in the outside world and stuff like that. They recently got taken over by... So WWE merged with the UFC and they started their own they started their own company now so um, they're called TKO, TKO Sports if you didn't know um, but yeah right let's get back onto this for a second so we've got Pope in goal Trippier's right back Dio Mande in making his debut with Botman in the centre fence Jordi Alba as left back Bruno Gamares and Jolet in the middle Messi on the right Brahim Diaz in the middle Pedro Gonzalez on the left and Isaac is playing up front this game. Yeah, I had no idea why that audio just went. That was really weird. Because it wasn't saying anything was muted. So I've got no idea. But yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah. What I recommend you do, Goku, actually, is probably watch WrestleMania. Actually, just try and watch try and watch as many of the pay-per-views from 2023 for WWE. Try and start from the beginning of the year. So it gives you a vague idea of what's going on. And then, oh, that was a great goal by Messi. That's why he's the GOAT. Yeah, I haven't played any of the WWE games properly in since I think I gave up after 2003, 2004. They just weren't for me. It was like the best wrestling game ever was No Mercy on the N64, and then WWE, the first SmackDown game. Um, but after that, for me, it just I think my enthusiasm for wrestling games just died. Um, I got Messi, um, let me just pause it, I'll just have a look now, I think it was, I signed him for 20 million, I was a bit ridiculous in my transfer fee, I reckon I could have got him for a bit less than that, but I just wanted to sign him, um, but I didn't get him on a free now, because he was into Miami for a few years, so I had to basically pay for him, but I think it's 20 million well spent if, uh, at the moment, because he's, he's he scored another goal, he's got He's played two games and scored. He's played three games and basically got three goals and, and two assists so far. Yeah, he is. He's doing really well at the moment. Yeah, I did play the SmackDown versus Raw games. I remember playing them because I remember, I remember Umaga and Bobby Lashley because um, I think that was around about the time where they did that match at WrestleMania with with Donald Trump and Vince McMahon in the in the mix. With Stone Cold as the ref, so I remember playing that one, but didn't play much of it. And then I think by that point I got bored of playing wrestling games. My love for playing on consoles died at that point, and I just become more of a PC player. Like I, I play Football Manager, and that's about it. There's a wrestling management game I play called um, TEW, which is short for oh god, what is it short for? I think it's short for Total Extreme Warfare or something. Like that. I could be completely wrong. But if you just type in TEW wrestling game, you'll see it come up. But it's literally, um, it's literally the wrestling version of Football Manager. But it, it's not, it's not as fun. It's, it takes ages to, to, to book the shows and stuff like that. 
So uh, the only time I play that when I have a bit of fun in it is there's like an auto book uh, auto booker thing, which basically means you get somebody else to pick the matches in the in the events and and all that. Like, so I just I usually just do that just to see what what combination of uh, matches they bring up and who wins titles and stuff. But uh, I don't tend to play it that much. I, I'll have like a stage where I. I'll, I'll, I'll literally have a database about 5,000 wrestlers and I'll try and find a photo for every single wrestler just to have like that aesthetic pleasing feel of having a picture on every single wrestler and then by the time I've done that I get bored so I have more fun just pick finding photos of wrestlers than I do playing the actual game um, but yeah I recommend you have a look at it because it might be, your, might be your type of thing if you haven't played it already oh you've already played it oh okay that's alright because it used to be um, EWR, which I remember when I was a when I was a, literally in the last year of school. I remember playing that. And there was another game called Promotion Wars, which was a bit similar, um, but they were the the wrestling sim games of its time. And then TEW is basically the next version of that. Um, but I, I I much prefer playing the ERW game. I think it's just nostalgia, I suppose. Yeah, I'll type it in chat. E T W. Um, but yeah, just in case. But um, the website you want to go on is greatdogsoftware.com. The games, I think the game's about thirty quid or less than that. But you might, you might really get into it because you can, you can, you can, you can get um, data mods, so you can be the the core game. They haven't got licensing for any of the real life wrestling groups that are out there so you can't be um, WWE for example but you can download if you go on the the forums on there there's like real life data mods on there so you can you can download that and then you can uh, own or be the head booker for WWE so yeah and uh, it's a pretty enjoyable game if you like that type of thing but it's like I said I haven't got the patience for it um, I have had my moments where I really enjoyed it and uh, and stuff like that, but yeah, I'll have to have a look at it and see if you like it. But um, but yeah, like for Goku and Joel. If you if Joel's still in there, I don't know if Joel's still there. Um, if you know, I, I'm I'm going to try and stream on here a couple of times a week. Um, from two o'clock till five o'clock usually. So if you, if you're about on or whatever, but then also. If you don't get a chance and you want to keep up with what's going on with my Newcastle save, have a look on my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the views that you get because obviously the main goals is to um, have fun on here, get to know people, chat, but also in the long run, like a lot of content creators, we want to be making a little bit of money here and there. Not that I'm, I'm after massive amounts of money. I'm never going to be. I'm not going to be the next Mr. Beast or even the next Doctor Benji or Lelujo or. You know, if I can make some money, but also do this, oh, it'll be great because I love playing this game. I'll play this game for free. I'll still do this for free. I'm not going to be um, unless something drastic changes in my life. I'm not going to stop um, streaming this con this type of content. It'd just be nice to make money because we all want to do. We all want to make money doing something we love. But I'm not expecting to to make money. That's just uh, a pipe dream. But yeah. Um, I think you're the only one in the chat now, Goku. If you're still there. Right, so we've got Arsenal in six days' time. I might. Oh no, I won't go on holiday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cheers, Goku. I do appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Always appreciate it. If you've got your own YouTube channel as well, or Twitch channel, um, and you want me to follow it as well, subscribe to it as well, I'll happily do that. You know, I'm, I don't mind helping other people as well. Um... I subscribe to somebody who 
post stuff about Doctor Who. I don't watch Doctor Who, but because he um, gave me some advice on how to do thumbnails, and he showed me examples of the thumbnails he did for his YouTube channel, I, uh, I felt like it was only fair that I give him a follow because we've all got to try and help each other with this type of thing, really. It's, you know, there's plenty of people out there, there's plenty of content out there that we can all create. Because you think about it like this, um, YouTube and Twitch is, the, is how we just watch stuff these days. Like, you know, I very re I don't really watch much stuff on normal TV. I usually just watch, um, if I'm not watching the soaps or wrestling, um, I tend to, when I'm on my own, I just tend to just watch all sorts of different things on YouTube. I quite enjoy, I watch a lot of Football Manager content, but I also watch um, GTA roleplay content. Um, for people who don't know what GTA roleplay is, it's basically um, playing GTA, but you're you're not killing anybody, even though some, some of the servers you can play, you can kill people, but you're basically playing a character and you're just chatting to people and you're you're interacting with them and you're basically acting in a way and you're you know you're playing in the gta world but you're basically playing it like um you're playing world of warcraft in the gta universe basically so you might want to look that up uh, as well goku but yeah yeah you do need to put like i didn't realize how much time it takes to create content um i'm learning how to video edit and then i'm going to start a youtube series with Everton by some point this week or next week um, but because basically on the morning I tend to do other things and then I do my streaming for a few hours in the afternoon and then by that point my partner will be back home from work so I, I mean I can do stuff like that when she's there because she's quite happy just to sit quiet and read a book but I don't really want to do that when she's come back from work and she just wants to watch TV and relax so I'm trying to I'm trying to ideally what I'm trying to do is get to the point where I'm recording a video every day for YouTube and then doing a two hour stream on Twitch every day. That's the aim is to basically do three hours of content a day. So it's just you just gotta put the uh yeah, you just gotta put the effort in mate, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, um I wanna try and get the hang of video editing and, and stuff like that and then I'm going to do short little short videos for YouTube and Twitch and just trying to build as I go along. Um, it's took me ages just to get the right setup because um, you're new to this Goku. But last week I didn't have any LED lights. I had a rubbish blue mask on. I had no backdrop, um, an old webcam, an old mic. So in the last few days while well, I had well we had time away because of being new year's i've basically done a you know try to improve it as best i can so hopefully it shows and people will like it and they'll start watching me regularly because it looks a bit nicer on their eyes instead of just what it looked like before yeah but you could if you wanted to you wouldn't necessarily have to be seen on camera you could basically you could divert you could just not have your camera on you could just stream the game so people could hear you playing the game but they wouldn't necessarily hear you and then when you get your confidence up a bit once you get used to doing it you could then show you could then have your webcam on show but or you could just do what i do and wear a mask um i'm doing it for different reasons than you're doing it but it might help with your anxiety if it gives you feel makes you gives you that protecting um the reason why i wear a mask is i just don't want not that i know i'm going to become pop famous or anything like that but i just don't necessarily want people to know who I am just in case I'm out with my girlfriend and you know uh, some people are unaware I'd say um, and they don't like I, I've heard some stories from YouTubers where they'll just get um, people that just don't leave them alone and try and talk to them when they're out with their partners and stuff like that and uh, out there in the uh, in the world and they get obsessed with people and not that anybody's going to get obsessed with me or anything like that, but you, you know I me, mean? I'm just doing it for that. And also, wearing a mask, it makes me stand out. It gives me that USP, makes me stand out. Um, but yeah, if you ever want any advice when it comes to doing that, um, just uh, if you can private message me on here, private message me on here, or on if you can do it on YouTube, do it on YouTube. Eventually, I'm going to set up a Twitter account. 
as well or any and then uh, maybe an instagram account so i can post short videos on there so then it gives people like you the chance to message me if you get stuck also my email address is on here i'll just quickly put my email address in if you get if you really if you just write this this down um bear with this there we go yeah if you get stuck and you ever need any any answers it may take me a while to answer but i'll get back to you so just email me on there if you get stuck if you if you want to start doing it i'm not an expert by all means but the thing with me is once i've got my mind set on doing something i put a lot of time into it and in the space of a week or so i feel like i've improved a hell of a lot already obviously i can still improve um i mean if you saw my first thumbnail for my for for these um it was absolutely shocking um, and I did a I did an introduction video for my e my Everton series. I'm going to start this week, and it wasn't the best. So I need to I need to get better at doing them. So yeah, uh, right here we go. Let's focus on this now. So we're playing New Arsenal next game. Uh, this game, sorry, We've got Pope in goal. Trippy was right back. Uh, Diomande and Botman in the middle. Alba on the left. Bruno Gomez and Joe in the middle. Messi on the right. Brahim Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osim Hen up front. It's probably our strongest, one of our strongest teams out there. Obviously, I think Target might be slightly better than Albert because he's younger, but other than that, it's a pretty strong team. Let's see how we get on. Now, no worries, Goku. Any time you you know, if you ever need any help or you just feel a bit, or you just want to have a chat, you know, I'm always here for people. I suffer with. Um, mental health issues or did in the past I wouldn't say I suffer with them as much now I have my moments so I understand that people sometimes just need someone to talk to so if you ever just want to talk and you, you're written down by all means feel free to message me you know it's a, it's a lonely world out there at the moment and, and so but yeah but no I appreciate you chat oh, oh we need to call that I appreciate you contributing to the chat if you and Joel's made this stream go really quickly and I really enjoyed the interaction so yeah that's what I wanted that's what basically the main reason why I did it was to chat with people like you um, stuff like that and I can't believe it's been it's, we've, I've been streaming now for uh, literally we're just we're looking at about what I've done an hour and 50 minutes at the moment if it, it doesn't even feel like I've done an hour and 50 minutes so yeah, so I will, I will, I'll do an extra ten minutes. So I'll, I'll play, I'll keep playing till four o'clock, and then I'll, I'll call it a day at four o'clock. Because I've got to try and do this um, Everton video if I can, because then I'm going to try and edit it before my my girlfriend comes back from work. So then I can hopefully publish it to today. But I've just got to get, I've got to get it all right first, and I don't think, I don't think I'm going to have time to do it all today. Oh. Let's try and encourage my team. But I should, I will be back on tomorrow from about two o'clock onwards. Go goof! You want to watch again? But like I said, by all means, check my eBay. eBay, sorry. Check my YouTube, not my eBay. Check my uh, YouTube channel if you want to watch previous streams or any new videos I post. But yeah, uh, what nil nil at the moment? Bit of a quiet game this one, but we got the ball now. I feel like I haven't really. I've been having such a nice time chatting. I feel like I've not really talked too much about this save today, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But it depends what you're here for. If you're here to watch me comment on football manager content, and I'm talking about wrestling and things like that, that's probably not for you. But I appreciate Goku and Joel um, for enjoying the chat for what it is cheers Goku I appreciate you um, subbing and that it really it does make a hell of a difference so um, yeah thank you I did a little experiment with e uh, with YouTube promotions and um, I realized that basically the people that watch your videos are using the YouTube promotions thing are uh, literally all all bots as they call bots um, spam bots or whatever they're called so they're not like they're not going to be returning customers uh returning viewers um subscribers so 
So yeah, so I've got a lot of subscribers, but none of them are, are basically real people. They're just they're just bots. So it's nice to have somebody like you who subscribe to it. So I do appreciate it. But yeah, keep keep me posted on uh, keep in touch, Goku. Um, even if it's if it's not on the Twitch chat or whatever, feel free to email me and keep me updated on your journey if you decide to do Twitch or YouTube. But yeah, just start small, just do like an hour stream twice a week or something. You don't need to have your webcam on. Um, in some ways it might be better because I know a lot of people prefer not to see the person's face, they just want to see the game. So it might just work out in your favour. Um, as long as you've got, as long as you come across as um, in the right way with people. Um, because I'm like Marmite, you either like me or you hate me. I, for as many people that like me, there's people that don't like me, and that's just how it is. And I've always, I've always accepted that about me. Right, can we pass it in the middle? No, we can't. Oh, that was a terrible pass. That was. I think this is going to win. I don't think, I don't think we're going to win this one by the looks of it. Arsenal just seem a lot stronger. Yeah, we can only be ourselves at the end of the day, Goku. People either like us or hate us. Or indifferent, as they say. But no, I appreciate you uh, chatting to me and stuff. and it means a lot. But uh, yeah, we're losing 1-0 now. I need, to, I need to try and get this game back on track. Have you ever done a... Um a lower league save Goku or a journeyman save or do you just do you tend to just manage the the biggest teams or and stuff? What do you what type of save do you usually like doing? On FM. Oh here we go. Come on. Oh Pedro, come on Pedro. Right. Messi is knackered and we can't sub him, so that's not good. Can we? No, we can't. Ugh. Oh, did they? Yeah, I have beaten Arsenal a few times. On uh, I think I beat them last season quite convincingly, but they look like they got the better of me this one. Um, yeah, it's, it depends if you've got the time to play. If you've got like a full-time job and you've got like a, a girlfriend or and kids and things like that. It's going to be very hard for you to have the time to do that. I'm quite lucky that I've got a lot of free time so I can play this game. Um, I'm not lucky financially because of it, because because I haven't got a job. But there's more to life than money. And like I say, I'm not doing I'm not doing badly. There's there's people way worse off than me. I think Mess is injured. I didn't I didn't pay attention to that. I need to. I think he's injured for a couple of weeks. How long is he injured for? Messi injured for two weeks. Well, that's lucky because we're we're now gonna go on holiday for two weeks, so hopefully he won't lose. He won't miss many games. He might miss the one game. Right, so we're gonna holiday. Bearing in mind that the the transfer window deadline day is in the middle of this, but we'll we'll take the risk. We'll we'll trust our uh, director of football. Any exciting plans for the rest of the day, Goku? Are you off out or anything? Or are you just relaxing now? Are you are you working at the moment or Oh, okay, cool. Are you going to be eating healthy or are you going to get a takeaway? What's your uh, go-to takeaway as well? What, what's your uh, favourite takeaway? Mine's usually pizza. Can't go wrong with takeaway pizza in my opinion. Either that or a Chinese. 
Oh, you got signed off work? Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. Um, hope you feel better soon. Yeah, Chinese I like as well. My go-to for Chinese is usually uh, sweet and sour chicken balls or pork balls and chips and then some spare ribs. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, yeah, burger, um, cheeseburger probably usually. And, 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 I, I prefer Burger King to McDonald's, but I had a Burger King the other day with my girlfriend, and I was just, I was just, within about ten minutes, I was hungry again. Um, so I don't tend to have burgers these days. Um, I'm trying to eat healthier, so I'm trying to eat. Yeah, I've had duck. I've had duck from the Chinese before. Yeah, I try not to um, eat badly these days. I'm trying. I'm trying to lose weight. You see, now I've got a girlfriend. I feel like I've got to make an effort. So since I've been with her, I've lost a few stone. I'm trying to lose a bit more. Um, I go to the gym two or three times a week, so I'm a lot more, a lot more. Um, toned and stuff like that I've still got fat around me but there's a bit of muscle behind me though um, and I try and walk a bit as well do you not have a Burger King by you? alright I'm surprised by that I, I just assumed there was a Burger King everywhere you probably got no Burger Kings but you probably got about 20 million um, 20 million McDonald's or something Yeah, it's just how it is. Though where where I live, there's there's literally there's not many like there's there's certain supermarkets that dominate the area, which is usually ASDA and Tesco's. You can't go anywhere without seeing an ASDA or a Tesco's. But then Morrison's, the nearest Morrison's for me is about forty five minutes on the bus or something like that, fifty minutes on the bus. Um, so I prefer Morrison going to Morrison's, but yeah. As is not too bad though, to be honest, because I, I do I do tend to do a decent food shop from there. There's loads of Aldis as well. I think there's like four Aldis or something, literally in the in the same in the town I live in, or in the next town. There's like two or three in the next town and stuff like that. Yeah, you do. You must. You 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 must. As I say, you must live in a nice area if you ain't got a bloody Asda. Um, Sainsbury's is nice. I like Sainsbury's. Every so often, I like going to Sainsbury's, but. I tend to just go to the cheapest places because it's just you get more for your money, don't you? But you probably don't have that option where you live. Um, what were you doing for work before you got before you had to stop working because of the medical issues? What were you doing? If you don't mind me asking. Probably going through these a lot quicker than normal, um, but yeah, just because I know mostly because a lot of them is just not worth paying attention to. Anthony, oh Anthony goes to Fulham. He's signing for eleven half million. It's a bit of a bargain for. I mean. In real life, Anthony's absolutely rubbish, but I'd have thought on FM he'd probably be better. Oh, okay, yeah, I used to do shop work. That's I used to I worked in retail for years. I used to work in supermarkets, and then I um, and then I didn't have a job for many years because I was on benefits uh, for mental health issues, and then um, I worked for. Uh, I worked for a few years doing jobs like um, working for Amazon as a dispatcher um, and then I went and worked in Ladbrokes Bookies, I worked there for a bit and then I worked in a telesales job for it, selling life insurance and then my last job was um, a, an admin job which I quite enjoyed because it was easy work and I got to what, I got to listen to stuff on my phone while I worked and watch stuff on my phone as long as it wasn't too distracting 
so um, it was an easy job and I got paid decent for it and luckily at the time it was only down the road from where I live but that, and then they moved and then it was just an absolute nightmare to get to work and back so I, um, it was one of the reasons why I left but yeah um, but yeah I've had a very good I think I've had about three or four different worked in about three or four different job sectors really so um, mostly customer service though because quite good at talking to people so I tend to do stuff like that really and that but uh, yeah what time is it what time is it now so we'll we'll do another we'll, do, we'll, work, we'll work till four o'clock on here and then I'll call it a day hopefully I can uh, watch a bit of the wrestling before uh, my partner comes back I used to watch so much stuff on YouTube and now I don't have the time to do it I'm basically doing this which is not a bad thing because it's just how it is I just wish there was more hours in the day I've got very exciting um, rice flavoured rice with a bit of beef bit of diced beef for my tea tonight my um, me and my girlfriend we had that we had it the other day and there was some left so we're just having leftovers with it probably with a few chips for tea tonight uh, nearly clicked on that then right so this will be the last game I reckon and I'm going to call it a day so we've got Pope in goal Trippier is right back Mancini in centre defence with Botman target on the left Tenali in the middle Tenali back I completely forgot we had Tenali uh, he's like a new signing isn't he uh, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle and we've got Correa on the right Brahim Diaz in the middle Gordon on the left and Osenham up front so yeah, this will probably be the last game, and I'm going to call it a day. I think. Yeah, leftovers are usually pretty good. My um, my girlfriend, she's a really good cook, and since I've been with her, she's been cooking some decent healthy-ish meals. I say healthy-ish because it it still involves meat, so it's not completely healthy. But um, she she mostly eats fish. Um, she doesn't really eat meat she likes to have a burger every so often we went to we went to Tovey Carver yesterday and we had um they do a, they do the they do the breakfast thing don't they there so we had a breakfast buffet at Tovey Carver yesterday I absolutely piled up on the sausages and bacon but I wasn't I, I ate all that and then I wasn't hungry for the rest of the day um but yeah she tends to eat fish because she's got diabetes she has to be careful what she eats so um yeah, carveries are very, very addictive. Um, they're not. I don't think carveries are that that bad, to be honest. I think a carvery is. I wouldn't say it's healthy, but it's healthier than having, like, fried chicken, for example, or a pizza, for example, because cheese is very fattening. I love cheese, though. I couldn't live without cheese. Um, but yeah, she like I said, she tends to have fish in that. But then she knows I'm not really the biggest fish fan. So she she's pretty good at cooking us meals where she, where she likes it, but I like it as well. But I have said to her that I will to to help her as well. I will try and eat a bit better when it comes to like I'll try and eat fish more and try and eat vegetables a bit more because I hate vegetables. So I, if she puts vegetables on my plate now, which she tends to, I just eat them begrudgingly. I don't moan about it. I just get on with it. But it oh, one nil down. Um, But yeah, like I said, she looks after me. I'm very lucky. She's very good at baking as well. We went to my friend's for New Year's Eve and she made this massive um, tier lemon curd cake and it was very nice because I had a piece of it. It was very it was very nice with a lot of sugar. My teeth were tingling by the end of it. That's how much sugar was in it. But it was very nice and my, uh, my friends seemed like they liked it as well played beer pong for the first time ever at New Year's Eve that was quite fun you ever played beer pong Goku any good at it I was rubbish at it I only got it in once oh oh here we go here we go yes we better not be offside no that's alright can't lose the bloody Fulham
Oh, okay, fair enough. You ain't missing much anyway. I've got terrible hand and eye coordination, so I couldn't do it. My girlfriend, um, the first two goes, she she did it. She got it in both times. Um, luckily, she was on my team, so um, I benefited from her being good at it. I'd have been annoyed if she wasn't on my team because she's she's very intelligent. So she's 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 oh, what a goal by him! What a goal by Elsenham. Um, she's very smart, so she's very good at. Whenever we watch countdown, um, the 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 cop the eight out of ten cats do countdown. She always gets the. She always gets the, you know just before the advert break and the, the the thing with that where they give you the clue and she she literally gets them way quicker than I do. So uh, not I'm not I don't I don't begrudge her for it. She's just she's just really smart. Um, I'm smart. We we got we've all got our strength as I say to her as she says to me as well. We've all got our strengths and weaknesses, you know. What she what she has in brains, I have in in, in strength because I'm quite strong. So uh, to her annoyance, I tend to whenever we go shopping, I try and carry all the bags of shopping back up into my flat, and she gets really annoyed by it because she wants to be, um, she wants to help as well. Because <laughs> I'm an old fashioned man, I don't let the, I don't I try not to let the woman carry, but she she it's the only thing we argue about really is is when we go shopping, we tend to like. Not fall out because it's not that bad. We don't have full burn arguments. We just have um, little fallings out. <laughs> just uh, and she'll she'll tell you that as well. So it's not it's not um, something she wouldn't want me to say. But yeah, we we find it quite funny because we don't really argue about anything other than when we when we're coming back from shopping and she gets in a mood with me and I get in a, I she gets in a mood with me if I don't if I don't let her carry the bags, which I do sometimes, obviously. But and then I'll get in a mood with it. She doesn't let me take the bags off. <laughs> It's a very silly thing to have an argument about. Yeah, I am. Mean, I'm very lucky. I know I probably talk about it way too much on 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 a platform like this, but yeah, um, I've I've uh, I spent many years. Uh, she she spent seven years being single. I spent about about four or five years being single, just being unlucky in love, as they call it. Um, so yeah, so now we found each other. We're just trying to, you know, make the best of the situation. She officially moved into my flat yesterday, so we were trying to we're trying to find a space for all of the stuff. So uh, that was quite interesting. Women are very good at finding places for things. I will give them that. I am not as good. I just chuck some. I just find a space and just put it there, even if it's not ideal. Cheers, Goku. Um, I appreciate. It. Have you? Are you? Have you got a? Have you got a girlfriend? Are you? Are you with somebody at the moment? Do you have a, a lovely, lovely woman in your life? Right, I'm going to save the game now. Oh, Logan, you come at the worst possible time, buddy. I'm just about uh, to head off, mate. But thank you for joining. I will be back on tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And if you want to watch my uh, Newcastle save from the start of the journey, if you go on to my YouTube channel in the same name, Lutra FM, you can click on the playlist on there, the Newcastle one, and start watching it from the beginning. I basically upload all, upload all my Twitch streams onto there. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you joining, Logan. Um, Goku, um, just let me quickly read yours. But yeah, cheers, Logan. Thank you. Um, but yeah, feel free to join again, Logan, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Watch me in my second season as Newcastle. Um, I would appreciate it. Um, feel free to sub sub yeah, subscribe to me on YouTube, Lucha FM, and Goku. Feel free to keep in touch on here or um, email. And thanks for subscribing to me on YouTube and contributing to me on here. I've enjoyed the chat with you, and um, all the best. And I'm going to stop this stream now. So thank you to everyone who joined the chat. And enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, and you, Goku. All the best, mate. Right, I'm off. All the best. Thank you.